Good evening to one and all. In this previous lecture series, we had discussed about different types of sheet metal operations. Some of them are, we had discussed about what is the meaning of blanking, piercing, deep drawing, and what are all the different types of bending operations, that means V-type, edge bending, etc. What are the embossing, what is the meaning of coining, likewise, etc. In this today we video lecture series, we will going to discuss about stretch forming as it is shown in the figure. Stretch forming is the metal forming process in which a piece of sheet metal is stretched as it is shown in the figure. This is the sheet metal. It is fit in the dies or carriage. Here the sheet metal is stretched or pulled in the opposite directions and bent simultaneously over a die and it is also bent simultaneously over a die in order to form a large bent parts. This is the simple basic operation of stretch forming. Here the sheet metal which is fitted into the die portion, die are jaws. This is the one jaw one, this is the jaw two. The one end of the sheet metal is fitted in the jaw one and the other, another end of the jaw sheet metal is fitted into the jaw two. And this is the die or ram. The die has a provision to move in the upper direction as it is shown in the image. And also the jaws, this is the movable jaws, it can also be stretched. That means it pulls the sheet metal in the opposite directions. Here both the tensile force as well as the compressive force takes place. First image depicts the tensile force. That means both the end of the sheet metal is stretched in the opposite direction. The second image depicts the compressive force. The die compresses the sheet metal and it bent the sheet metal according to the shape or convenient. There are about two types of stretch forming forces. First one is the stretch forming, second one is the stretch wrap forming. Next we are going to discuss about the roll forming. Roll forming is the continuous bending operation in which a long strip of sheet metal is passed through sets of rolls mounted on consecutive stands. Each set performing only on incremental part of the bend until the desired cross section profile is obtained. Roll forming is ideal for producing constant profile parts with long lengths and in larger quantities. Next, die. It is made up of tool steel and used to cut or shape the material. There are about different types of dies. First one is the simple die. Next, Compound die, combination die, progressive dies. These are all the different types of dies. First, simple die. Simple dies are single action dies perform single operation for each stroke of the first slide. The operation may be one of the cutting or forming operation. This is the perforating punch. This is the stripper. This is the workpiece. The black image denotes the workpiece. With the help of the punch, the force or pressure is applied and the final shape is obtained. This is one of the example of simple die. Next one is the compound die. In these dies, two or more operations may be performed at one station. With the help of compound die, as the name denotes, more than one operations can be performed with the help of the compound die. Such dies are considered as cutting tools since only cutting operations are carried out. Here this is the stripper, this is the part material or job material, this is the blanking die, part knockout and this is the finished part. This portion is the blanking patch and a perforating matrix. In this blanking operations can be carried out with the help of the compound dies. Next one is the combination die. In this die also more than one operations can be performed at one station. It is different from compound die in that in this die a cutting operation is combined with a bending or drawing operation. Due to that it is called combination die. This is the drawing die. This is a knockout, blanking punch, stripper, metal plate, pad. With the help of it the metal operations takes place. Next one is the progressive die. 
a progressive as a series of operations. At each station, a operation is performed on a workpiece during the stroke of a press. This is one of the example of piercing punch and this is the blanking punch. At the single stroke, we can produce different shapes of the materials according to our convenience. Thank you.